In part one fixtures we have Burnley versus Norwich, Leeds versus Watford, Chelsea versus Southampton and Wolves versus Newcastle. Some tasty ties there. Our first feature game is between Man United and Everton. Man United looking to bounce back after losing to Aston Villa and Everton looking to continue their winning run after beating Norwich last time out. This promises to be a good game. In part two fixtures we have Brighton versus Arsenal, West Ham versus Brentford, Crystal Palace face off against Leicester and Tottenham are up against Aston Villa. Our feature game for part two is Liverpool versus Man City. Two great teams at the top of their form, probably title challengers. Let's see how this goes. Let's get into it. First up, we have Man United versus Everton. Man United, obviously the favourites here. Can Everton get a good away win? Goal for Everton early. They've taken the lead. Man United hit the post. Everton come close again, but they can't lead in 1 0. Are Man United going to score? It doesn't look like it. A 1 0 win for Everton away from home. Burnley versus Norwich is next. This promises to be a good game between two teams fighting for relegation. Here we go. A goal for Norwich early. Another goal for Norwich. They're currently leading 2-0. Can Burnley get one back? It doesn't look like it. Norwich get the win. 2-0 away from home. Next up, we have UCL champions Chelsea against Southampton. Chelsea, the favourites here. Here they go. Into the middle of the Marvel's goal. A goal for Southampton. Two, three goals for Chelsea. Four goals. Four, two, four, three at the minute. Two Chelsea at the minute. Can Southampton get one more? It's rolling. It bounces off Chelsea. And it goes in. A 4-4 draw between Chelsea and Southampton. Next up, we have Marcelo Bielsa's lead against Watford. Watford looking for a win here. Here we go. Into the middle. A oh, Leeds hit the post. So close. A goal for Leeds. Goal for Watford. Currently 1-1. 2-1 to Watford. Leeds get one back. Can Watford get the winner? No, they can't. It's 2-2. Our next game up is between Wolves and Newcastle. Two teams looking to find their form. Here we go. A goal for Newcastle. Two goals. Three goals for Newcastle. Four goals for Newcastle. A Good win for Newcastle, 4-0 away from home against Wolves. Brighton versus Arsenal is next. Arsenal looking to continue their good run after beating Tottenham. Here we go. Goal for Brighton. Goal for Brighton again. Goal for Arsenal. Goal for Brighton. Currently 3-1 to Brighton. Can Arsenal get back into it? No, they can't. It's a win for Brighton. Arsenal lose away from home. Next up, we have Crystal Palace versus Leicester. Let's see how Patrick Vieira's Eagles will do against the Foxes. Here they go. A goal for Crystal Palace. A goal for Leicester. Goal for Crystal Palace. Currently 2-1 at the minute. And that's how it will stay. Crystal Palace get the win over Leicester. Next up, we have Tottenham versus Aston Villa. Can Tottenham bounce back after losing the North London derby? Here we go. Goal for Aston Villa. Two goals for Tottenham. Another goal for Aston Villa. Currently 2-2. Will there be a winner? The Aston Villa boys rolling, rolling. Just wide. And it's a 2-2 draw between Tottenham and Aston Villa. West Ham versus Brentford is up next. Two good teams with different styles. Here we go. Goal for West Ham. Goal for Brentford. Goal for Brentford and West Ham again. Goal for Brentford. Goal for Brentford. 4-3. Brentford get the win over West Ham. The final game is the future game between Liverpool and Man City. This promises to be an exciting clash. Here we go. Who's going to come out on top? A goal for Liverpool. Lurley. Currently 1-0. Can Man City get back into it? Would it be another goal? It's a goal for Liverpool. That surely seals it. A 2-0 win for Liverpool against Man City. So the results for part one, Norwich beat Burnley 2-0, Leeds drew with Watford 2-2, Chelsea 4, Southampton 4 and Newcastle getting a 4-0 win over Wolves. In our feature game, Everton ran away with winners, getting the three points over Manchester United. Man United did come close a couple of times but Everton get a very good win away from home at Old Trafford. Next up to part two now, Brighton beat Arsenal 3-1, West Ham and Brentford played out a classic but Brentford won 4-3. Crystal Palace won 2 1 and Tottenham Aston Villa was a draw. Into our next feature game, our final feature game, and it was Liverpool who take the three points over Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. A big win in the title race at Anfield. The Premier League marbles table after match day seven. Liverpool stay top of the league, Everton now in the top two. Leeds and Chelsea make up the top four, with Man City and Man United just outside. Norwich jump from 12th to 8th. Crystal Palace are now in the top 10. Tottenham slips continue, they're now down in 13th. Arsenal and West Ham are in 16th and 17th and Burnley, Wolves and Leicester still without a win and now three points adrift at the bottom of the table. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a weekly series that comes every Premier League match week on a Thursday. So like and share. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe down below if you are new. Uh, share the video around if you could. That would be very much appreciated. And yeah, peace out. See you again soon.